Hi guys, I'm Marquetta and today I'm going to be working through some exercises for your left hand that will help get you ready for the Suzuki Twinkle Variations. If you haven't already got the Suzuki Book 1, you can find a link for that in the description. Now this video is focused on the left hand technique, so we're going to be doing finger work. If you're looking for a video on the different bowing patterns or bowing variations that are found in the Suzuki Book, I've also done one of those, so check out the description and the link to that video is there. Let's get started. Now the first exercise we're going to do is going to be on the E string and we're going to be playing E, E1, E, E1. Let's give that a go. Now you want to do that lots of times, but only as many times as what good technique will allow. So notice that we have the mouse hole here and we have the cheese can sit nicely there. So you're not going to be scrunching up your wrist or pushing it out in any way. A nice relaxed wrist and a nice shape of the left hand. Also note that my other fingers are not going underneath my violin. So there is no tension in the left hand or wrist. Let's do that one more time. The second exercise we're going to do is on the A string. Now we're going to build up our fingers. First finger, second finger and third finger. These are playing B natural, C sharp, which is far away from the first finger and D which is nice and close. Make sure that your third finger is right on top of the second. And we're going to be doing three, two, one, A. We're then going to build up the fingers and do it again. Here we go. Build one, build two, build three. Notice that when I take each finger off, it rises a little bit. It does not go all the way back. It does not go underneath the violin and the shape of my left hand and wrist does not change. I still have the mouse hole. The mouse can go through and get his cheese and my hand is relaxed and nice. Let's do it one more time. we're going to do today is from E to A3. Then we're going to go A2 and A1 and then we're going to repeat it. So this is actually the middle section of the busy busy stop stop. The first variation E. Take a moment to build the three fingers up. Eventually you want to snap them on but in the beginning build so that you make sure your technique is nice and strong. Build. Repeat. Build. Once you get good at that, you might like to try the snap, but it's important not to try the snap until you're very confident that you are building well. This will take at least a week of practice. Here it is with the snap. So once you have completed all those exercises and you know that your left hand and wrist are nice and loose, nice and relaxed and feel comfortable, you can add it all together and play. Busy, busy, stop, stop for the twinkle variations. Here we go. Build. 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 
these are the exercises that I do with my students before we start on the bowing patterns for twinkle variations. Practice those each day and make sure that you pay special attention to where you're putting your left fingers on the neck of your violin and also that your left hand and wrist are loose and relaxed at all times. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. See you next time.